This is absolutely fascinating to me. A meteorite fell on a UK driveway that contained rare materials. This is crazy stuff, and this could absolutely open up a completely new path for humanity for the future as we continue to study these types of strange events that are taking place. Um, so on February 28th, citizens in Northern Europe and the United Kingdom witnessed a meteorite falling to earth in a ball of fire. The, the event is particularly exciting to some experts who believe that the specific very rare materials of the rock might lead to answering some questions about the universe. This is so cool to me. I love all this stuff. Like this type of stuff, I just get, I just nerd out about all the time all this stuff about you know what could be out there in space and everything else of course there's always the the age-old question of are aliens real or whatever else and i i don't know what to think about that but i i i definitely uh have some very mixed thoughts about that and some very complicated thoughts about what could be aliens out there or whatever else but uh but i love this type of stuff so much and i love what is going to be happening in the future even if it is in my lifetime just as we continue to move forward to you know possibly pioneering outer space and all that stuff it's just really exciting so after the meteorite sped through the sky at almost 14 kilometers per second above several countries some of its pieces were found on a driveway in the cotswolds uh scientists have gathered around 300 grams 10 10.6 ounces of the rare rock from Winchcomb. I think that's how you pronounce that. I don't know. A small Gloucestershire uh, town and experts have confirmed that the meteorite was made of the material carbonaceous uh, chondrite. According to CNN, the substance is some of the most primitive and pristine material in the solar system and has been known to contain organic material and amino acids, the ingredients for life. So basically, this is what people are kind of looking at as a possible, uh, you know, sign that there might be something else out there. So the Natural History Museum in London confirmed that the particles were collected quickly enough and in good condition and in good enough condition that they have the same values as they were brought back to Earth from space. Just think that's just so crazy. Think of there's there's like materials now that we have in our possession that came from way out there that is just so cool cnn reports the space rock the museum said was similar to the sample recently returned to earth from space by the japanese hayabusa uh, 2 mission which returned about 5.4 grams of fragments from the asteroid Ry ryugu according to the japan aerospace exploration agency richard greenwood is a research fellow in planetary sciences at the open university and was the first scientist to identify the rock in a statement from the museum he said i was in shock when i saw it and immediately knew it was a rare meteorite and totally unique event it's emotional being the first one to conf confirm to the people standing in front of you that the thud they heard in their driveway overnight is in fact the real thing the museum said that there are around 65,000 meteorites on earth of which humans know but people have only seen 1206 fall to earth and of those only 51 were composed of the carbonaceous chondrite material that is so cool that is absolutely so fascinating to me um so Let's see. The museum said that even more pieces of the meteorite might be found in the form of black rocks, piles of small stones or dust in the area. While the meteorite landed on a driveway in Witchcomb, additional fragments have been gathered from the surrounding location. Ashley King, a UK research and innovation, uh, innovation future leaders fellow in the Department of Earth Sciences at the museum said, nearly all meteorites come to us from asteroids, the, the leftover building blocks of the solar system that can tell us how planets like the Earth formed. The opportunity to be one of the first people to see and study a meteorite that was recovered almost immediately after falling is a dream come true. That is just so cool to me. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because I thought that, that was really fascinating. And uh, we probably will be talking about this uh, sometime, maybe even this week on our podcast that I have as well epic man podcast so if you guys aren't aware of that we do have a youtube channel and we are on all of the different plat uh, podcast platforms and stuff epic man podcast make sure you go check that out and uh, give that a listen and stuff i'd really appreciate that as well because we talk about this type of stuff all the time on that podcast and it is it is a lot of fun so 
I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. What do you think about uh, this type of stuff? What do you think about the, you know, the, the origins of life? Do you think that there's other life out there? I would love to hear what you guys have to say about that in the comments below. So let me know and I'll talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye. My heart's still